What's up guys, this is the Nintendo Fan, and we are playing some more Paper Mario. When we last left off, we planted this beanstalk here that led us to Huff and Puff, and we freed the next star spirit, Clever. And in this part, we're going to get out of the flower fields. Oh, son, do you need some? We're going back to Toad Town. And we actually saw Peach last time, too, and we didn't get any hints as to where to go next. So, what do we do? Go see Merlin. Mario, great timing! Somebody was, was looking for you. He's over at Merlin's house. Well, let's go to Merlin's house now. Hey, it's a ninji. Oh, it's you. You came at such a good time. There's a guest waiting for you. Nice to meet you. I come from Starborn Valley. Starborn Valley is in the Shiver region, a chill place far to the north, at the very end of the Earth. Merle, uh, who hails from there, said that he had something important to tell you, Mario. Merle of Starborn Valley is my son, Mario. It seems he's calling for you. If he is searching for you, you can be sure something important is up afoot. You must go to Starborn Valley. Do not delay. Yes, please hurry. I will run ahead and take the tidings of you to Merle. I think somewhere deep below Toe Town is a pipe connected to Shiver City. Starborn Valley is located quite near Shiver City. Mario, hurry to meet my son. He waits in Starborn Valley. But first, we actually put something in the mysterious chest as Peach, so let me claim that item real quick. Alright, I went ahead and picked up the jam and jelly that we <laughs> dropped in the chest. Let's keep going. And really quick, I'm gonna go to the shop so that I can pick up that ultra shroom that I left earlier in the <laughs> playthrough. Let's go in here. Let's check. Or, no, not check. No! Ugh! We want to claim... The Ultra Shroom. Alright, now that we got that, what do you say we pay Tasty a visit? Because you can actually make something really good with the Jam and Jelly and Ultra Shroom. Yes, I'd like you to cook something. How about this Ultra Shroom? And you can use another ingredient, the Jam and Jelly. And I shall cook in the... Cook with Ultra Shroom and Jam and Jelly. Yes. I'll whip some of special... Hold for you. Here you are. The recipe is not too bad. Here, please. And we get the Jelly Ultra. Restores 50 HP and FP. Come back anytime. I look forward to it. So yeah, cooking the <laughs> Ultra Shroom and uh, Jam and Jelly is basically making a whack as bump times two. But we want to go in here. And there's Rip Cheeto. And we gotta go up this pipe. This is where the door we want to go, but we don't have any act. We don't have a way to get there. Uh oh, Dark Koopa! Ah! Alright, take care of that battle. With no star points rewarded, by the way. But you want to use like Lester to get around over those spikes and go in this pipe. Hey, there's a spiny. Oh, wait. You're not worth much star points. <laughs> ah. Alright, now that that battle's over. Let's see if it's in this spot. Just a coin. And we got a stone block that we can get. Just hit with the ultra hammer. Oh, boy. Dark Koopa. Out of my way. 
a metal block. And let's hit, hit this. And take that. And let's summon this chest. And we got the Ultra Boots. The Mar attack power of Mario's jump increases. On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump by pressing A again while in the air. Now we can actually both ground pound and uh, jump higher. Very nice. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna re-equip some badges. How about... There we go. That way I don't have to do the battle sequences. Ah. Uh, there we go. Dark cube is taken care of. But now we can actually reach those blocks. Get out of my way. Ah! Did I de-equip Spike Shield? Let me check. No, I didn't. And that's the Ultra Jump for you. Alright, that's one spiny down. And as you see, just like the Koopas, you, if you jump on a spiny with the spike shield, they flip over, much like the Koopas and Buzzy Beetles. Thus, reducing their defense to zero. Alright, now that we're done here... Hey, Dark Koopa, how's it going? See ya! Let's see what's in here. Shooting star! Worth it! And I'm gonna bring Watt out because we have invisible blocks that we can now reach. Hey, I memorized! Nice! And do we need power carry? No, we don't! But I do want to re-equip re-equip my badges. Because I don't think I'm going to need the spin attack anymore. Yeah, that's what I had last time. So, let's open this door. Anything hidden? Nothing. So, let's go down the pipe. And, ooh, it's cold uh, over here. This is the way we want to go. But what's in, on the other side? Upgrade block! Uh... How about... Power carry? Can't believe we have almost every party member upgraded to, upgraded to Ultra Rank. Excuse me. But I'm gonna have Watt back out. Go up this pipe. And we start Chapter 7, A Stir Spirit on Ice. And we're in the cold area. Let's talk to you. Yeah, hello. This is the no more than most burg, Shiver City. You come from Toad Town? Very, very far away. Yeah. Welcome to Shiver City. No. Oh. We made our way to Shiver City, the cold region of the Mushroom Kingdom. And I like the music here, by the way. Hey, Chuck Quizma, haven't seen you in a while. Let's do the quiz, shall we? Question. What ability does Gumbario frequently use? That would be... Tattle. Yep. Alright, we get the star piece. 
I don't think I'm gonna get every star piece in the game, because really, the only badges I care for from Merlo are... Peekaboo and Zap Tap. And feeling fine, I guess. Speaking of star pieces... Alright, it's around here somewhere. And I just said I'm not gonna go for every star piece, and there it is! The, ult the Ultra Hammer really comes in handy. <laughs> Let's go in this house. Let's talk to this penguin. Oh, we have a guest. Welcome. You poor man, you must be freezing. If you'd like to see my husband, he's in the other room. Please go right in. Let's go inside. And oh, something happened. No reply. Mayor Penguin's body doesn't budge an inch. What's this? He has a memo in his uh, hand that says Herringway. Darling, would you like a cup of tea? Hmm? Oh, dear. You know you'll catch a cold if you sleep there. Yeah, a penguin catching a cold. I don't see any logic to that. No! Help! Somebody! Anybody! My husband is dead! He's been murdered! It's a penguin murder mystery! What's going on here, madam? Just calm down now. You need to speak slowly so I can get to the bottom of this. My husband is dead. Look at him lying there. Oh, my darling husband, somebody clipped his flippers. By Puffin, you're right. The mayor's been murdered. This is a, like a mystery novel, except it's real. How tragic. But, madam, if I may ask, who on earth would have a reason to put this penguin on ice? Him, right there. That man with the suspicious mustache. I told him not to come in the house, but he barged right in. My husband was alive right up until this man showed up. He must be the murderer. Hey you, mustache, are you listening? This good woman's accusing you. What do you say for yourself? Don't try to play <laughs> ignorant with me, buddy. I'm a professional. We've got a witness here. Isn't that right, madam? Yes, that's right. He did it in cold blood. I, uh, saw it with my own eyes. How can you prove anything? Besides, he's the only one who came into this room. It all adds up. So you're sticking to your story, claiming you're not the culprit. Mario, um, didn't do it. It's mean that you're te treating him like he's a bad guy, even though there's no, um, evidence. Hmm, if you're telling the truth, then we're dealing with a background room murder case. Oh, I never trained for this. A backroom murder case? Oh, a high-ranking penguin slain. How could such a horrible plot twit to hit our peaceful city? You, Mr. Mustache, once more, for the record, you swear you didn't do this? Okay, I think I believe you, but this means we have to find the true murderer. Ah, perfect. I'll give you a chance. Since you claim that you're not the guilty party, then you must bring me the murderer yourself. If you do that, I'll believe you. It's the only way. Alright, off with you. You haven't proved that you're innocent yet, so I must forbid you to leave the city. So, we have a murder mystery going on here. Very interesting. And what do you penguins have to say? Mary Penguin was murdered in his back room, and no one has the slightest idea who, it, who did it. Oh, it can't be. It's like we're on, in one of Herringway's mystery novels. How could such a terrible thing happen to such a small, peaceful city? Who could do such a thing? The mayor's wife said the man with the mustache did it. And he seemed to be such a gentleman, too. Still, I guess you shouldn't trust anyone who carries such a huge hammer. Brr, how terrifying. It just goes to show you can never trust your first impression to people. Uh oh. Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> We're being accused of a murder we didn't do, and as you see, the pipe is blocked. You better show some evidence if you're really not the one who murdered Mayor Penguin.
tell you to? I'm sorry, but I can't let you leave the city. I won't budge from the spot. Oh, no sorry. I'm serious now. There's no use to trying to move me. Am I being too rude? Sorry. Well, we're locked. And there's another part of Sherman City we haven't been to yet. And we got a nice rink, and we can't proceed. Well, what you want to do is tornado jump the ice. And switch over to sushi. And dive into the freezing water for the warehouse key. Thank goodness this isn't Mario 64 where you'll gradually take damage while you're in the water. Let's bring Watt back out. And use the key in here. And go right up. Oh, we have to go up the spring and be reverse <laughs> Mario Claus. And actually be Mario Claus. <laughs> I love how Mario's covered in suit. What in the... Why are you in my fireplace? You found my secret room. Through the chimney? Ingenious. Let's talk to him again. Me? I'm Herringway, the novelist. Haven't you heard of me? What? Mayor Penguin was murdered, and I'm the chief suspect? You must be joking. That's ridiculous. I did no such thing. You're very suspicious, huh? Well, I suppose I would be too. It appears as though I should drop in at the mayor's house. Engage staircase. All right then, come on. Let's go to the mayor's house. Yeah, I love the pun here, Herringway, like Ernest Hemingway. And he's a novelist too. Meet him at the mayor's house. You need definitely get got a good head start. And I like how the door went right. We went right through the door. Let's get to the bottom of this case right now. Here we are. Oh, you again? Have you come up with anything? Hmm. Say, isn't that penguin behind you the mystery novel writer Herringway? What? Well, what? Mayor Penguin was clutching a piece of paper that had Herringway written on it. Bah, if that were true, I would most certainly would have noticed it. Hmm, he definitely does have... <laughs> he does appear to be holding a piece of paper. Yes, of course, it's a message about his death. With his last breath, mayor told the mayor told us the murderer's identity. So, Mr. Herringway, you cold-hearted murderer. It all makes sense now. No wonder your novels are so exciting and suspenseful. You live out your own plots. Dear man, do you have any idea how ridiculous you sound? You actually think I would do this to the mayor? He's a great friend of mine. Hmm, yes. Yes, you were good friends. Aha, but that was just a cover so that no one would suspect you of your heinous crime. That's it, isn't it? I've solved this crafty mystery. Oh, come on, really? You simple, simple penguin. I would never be so predictable. Besides, I'm completely innocent. I've been working in my house on my new novel for weeks. I didn't have time to sneak over to here to kill Mayor Penguin. I'd just like to say that I still think the man with the mustache is the murderer. Hmm, this penguin murder mystery is getting more intriguing all the time. There's movement! Uh. Oh, my aching... Ouch! My husband's returned! He's a ghost! Oh, good gracious. Hello, everyone. What's going on here? But what? Mayor, we thought you were dead. Our backroom murder mystery was is a wash. What a plot twist. Huh, what are you talking about? Um, I think I seem to remember going to the shelf to get this souvenir for Herringway. 
Oh yes, of course. I reached up, slipped, and then whacked my head on the floor. Yes, that's what happened. Here you are, Herringway. This is what I was reaching for. Toad Town was great fun. So many interesting sights. Wish you could have been there. Sometime after all this hubbub settles, I'll give you a full account of the big city. Well, uh, thank you, old friend. That's very thoughtful. But, Mayor, we were thinking that you'd been murdered. The whole city was up in arms. Next time, be more careful. Ah, yes. So sorry. Haha. <laughs> I thought it was rather entertaining, actually. Besides, everything's okay now. The mayor's just fine. I must return to my home now. I believe I've just had an idea for the sequel to my new novel. Um, I have the best t intentions, but for some reason, I always end up causing a ruckus. Hello. Sorry about all that. I must apologize. Say, you're Mario, aren't you? Well, let me welcome you to Shiver City, Jewel of the North. What's the matter? You want to <laughs> hike over to Starborn Valley, do you? I see. Of course. I'll tell the gatekeeper to allow you out of the city. You better bundle up. Um, I knew you were innocent the whole time. A backroom murder case? Please, how completely silly. That overzealous guard must <laughs> read too many no mystery novels. <laughs> anyway. And yet, you still think we murdered him. But the good news is, he's not murdered. I think what you want to do... And go in this house. And go up this uh, stair-like arc, if I can stay up there. Go out this window. And I'm gonna need paracarry, aren't I? Alright, trying this again. This time, have paracarry. Go in this door. And open this chest, which contains the Attack FX E badge. Let's check out our sound badges. And as you hear, it's Yoshi! Yeah, I find it interesting that a Yoshi sound so makes when you hit something with the hammer. I don't even remember Attack Effects D, or where it is, if there is one. But, I feel like we did a lot in this part. So, so I'm gonna stop right here, and in the next part, we're gonna set off to... Starborn Valley. Later, guys.